I bought this LDK Pocket 8-bit thing from eBay. It was sold as no power, doesn't turn on. It came with this lovely instruction leaflet. Wongins, please remove the lithium battery. Let's have a look at the lithium battery, shall we? Ah, it's one of those old Nokia clone type battery things. Looks alright. Let's see if it comes on. No, it does not. Let's try and charge it. Oh, well, it's taking amps. 0.2. Alright, well, I suppose I should leave it on charge for a bit. Maybe it's got a completely flat battery. Let's try and turn it on now. Oh, I left it on. No. Okay, I'll leave it for a bit and come back to it. Right, it's been on charge for about 20, 25 minutes now, and it's still at 0.2, so I don't think it's doing anything. It's obviously drawing some amps somewhere, but it ain't turning on. So let's open it up and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. War Jets, it begins. This LDK being safe in the bin. Flux, Nid Huega, in Flint and Jam back from Berlin. McAdams, A1 Base, supporting the stairs is no disgrace. Nades, Baroque, show them the love of warm and brace. New members in the place, thanks to Sara Care. A new HSG, what's wrong with that? Kangle Burr also knew did I pronounce that right? It's such a stupid name, who has he lost the fight? Doctor Prince's Wizard and Frankenstein. Western and Western, doing just fine. Infinity Avi and John Krushek. And Mo Timmer with a cool new trick. Where Jackie Death, William Henry Afasio. Ben Rush, Ellis Garber, Monkey Joe, Tokyo. Jonathan Harden, Fred Show, yeah. Markovic 19, looking debonair. Jonathan Wiggs and Art Newton. Titter, the OG where it all began. Adam Taylor, thank you. Let's fix this thing so I can play Kung Fu. Peace. Okay. That was straightforward. Well, nothing's jumping out at me. Let's get it under the microscope and let's see if we can see anything. Well, obviously we'll be able to see something, but you, you know what I mean. Okay, so there's the charging port. Start there. Have a look inside it, actually. Uh, okay, so we've got a hair, but other than that, I think that's probably okay. Well, let's do the solid test. Solid. 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 Oh, solid, I think. I think it's got some kind of conformal coating on that's cracking as I'm solid. testing these, but I think they're all okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm, excellent soldering work there, guys. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. And that all looks fine. Crystal, 21.47727. On off switch, maybe we should test that. Let's start there. Well, not start there because we already started at the charge port, Steve. <sighs> Multimeter in beep beep mode. Okay, let's go from here to here. That's fine. And then from here to here, and flick the switch. Oh. Oh, I, oh no, it's there and there, isn't it? Okay. Right, well, the switch is fine. Alright, that's it for this side. Let's flip it over. And... Got a little chip there. That's video out, so... I'm guessing that... Not going to have a problem on it, but I don't know because I don't have a lead or anything to test it. Yes, the soldering on this board leaves a little bit to be desired. A chip there, LM4890S. Let's see what that is for fun. And that is a Texas Instruments 1 watt audio power amplifier. So that's obviously for the sound. And we've got a screen connector, a bit of fluff. No idea. Uh, capacitors, resistors. Got another chip here. LTH7. Don't know what that is, but this is the. There's the power switch. I'm guessing this is some kind of the power. Yeah, there's a couple of diodes there. Right. Another chip there. 
I'll tell you what, let's let's see if there's any shorts. Oh, that looks like a short there. Let's test that. Oh, no. Why is that looks like a piece? Hmm. That is a piece of solder, and that did look like that was shorting, but obviously it wasn't. Right, well, let's see if we got any shorts. Black probe on the ground. We'll use this one, and let's go across some of these capacitors. Well, that doesn't, look, that doesn't look very clever, that, does it? So this one's shorted, and it's got a little black spot in the middle. Mmm. Yeah. I'm guessing the bottom one's supposed to be ground. The top one isn't. So it's either this chip, or this capacitor. Let's see if there's any more. Don't like the look of that. Was it supposed to be a resistor? Was it say one five two? Well, I, I don't know. Let's see if there's any resistance across it. Uh, one point eight. Yeah, one point eight kilo ohms. So maybe it's one eight two. That would be right, wouldn't it? Let's check that one. So that should be ten ten thousand. Yep, yeah, ten thousand ohms. Let's see what this little chip is. My suspicion is it's that. I mean, it could just be the capacitor. That would be awesome. Oh well, I don't know what, don't know what capacitance it's going to be though, do I? Let me Google the chip. Right, I found it here. It looks like some kind of charge management chip. So it's it's in this orientation. Oh, you bugger! <laughs> so it's in this orientation, and then so we should have ground is the middle pin of the three. And the top one should be battery, and that one will short it to ground. Right, so my my money's on this chip. Hmm. Although, because the capacitor's got a black spot in the middle, let's take the capacitor off first. There we go. Where's it gone? Oh no, I've lost it. <laughs> Great, so if there was nothing wrong with that capacitor, I've lost it. I won't be able to put it back on. Let's see if the short's still there. Uh, it is there, but it is not there. Excellent. So it was the capacitor. Right. Now what do I replace it with? Let's see if it tells you on that data sheet for the chip what capacitor needs to be. Doesn't help that the data sheet is in Chinese. I think I'm just going to have to guess. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because there is another capacitor on the other side of it, which might be a completely different capacitance. I'm going to measure it. And try that. Why is it not coming up with anything? What's going on? Is it because it's in circuit? Oh, don't make me take it out of circuit. <sighs> oh, I don't know what to do. I mean, maybe it'll work without it. But it's obviously there for a reason. I wish I knew how to read these things. I'm sure some people watching are like, well, obviously you need to replace that with a, a 10 microfarad capacitor. But I don't know. <laughs> Many hours have passed. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm going to take this capacitor off. I'm going to measure it, and I'm going to try and put one on the same. I think I figure that's better than just randomly guessing. Well, let's see if we can measure this without it flying off into another dimension. I take your brain to another dimension. I take your brain to another dimension. Oh, got it then. Was it 100? 100 nanofarad? Yes. 100 nanofarad. I'm just going to go with that. Let's pop it back on. Oh, 
Awesome. This capacitor just decided to uh, tombstone. Sorry, this resistor. Let's do some tombstoning. Okay, I think we're good. Right, let's pop one on here. Got some 100 nanofarad ones here. Yeah, they look like the right size. What are you doing? You're going the wrong way. Just double check that we don't have that short. Nope. No, we're all good. Right. I mean, I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe I should have tried it without the capacitor, but I figure when it's on the circuit like that, it needs to be there. But I don't know. I might have made it worse by putting the wrong capacitance in, but let's put it back together and let's see if it explodes. Oh, not put the put the thing in the for the uh, thing for the power switch. Arr, let's do it with magic. Shazam! Nice. Okay, let's see if it comes on. Yes, it does. Amazing. Got a hundred and eighty-eight games on it as well. Yeah, Kung Fu. Nice. So. Stupid game. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Was it?